I'm back. I am ready to take on some new challenges, some new adventures, new interesting thoughts. I've got a lot planned. I'm super excited about it. The first thing I want to do, you can hear my dog drinking water in the background, right? This is the problem when you try to have your dog be in your video. It's fine. We just have to wait for her. She said. So, this week's video, I wanted to try out cleaning up my dog's toys and clothes and things. Being in quarantine, I have been watching lots of Netflix. There she goes again. She's not going to be helpful in this video, is she? Anyways, in quarantine, I have been watching lots of Netflix. And I know a lot of people are like actually being productive with their lives, and I guess technically I have been too. But I started watching the show Tidying Up by Marie Kondo, and it really got me thinking, man, I have a lot of crap in my life that I just need to get rid of. And what really got me thinking of that was my dog has so many toys, like more toys than some children probably have because she's so stinking spoiled. I figured I would use Marie Kondo's techniques of tidying up with my dog. Basically what they do, I guess the technique is called KonMari of cleaning up. They break it up into five different segments, one of them being clothes and sentimental items and things like that. We're just gonna dump it all together. And I'm gonna ask Piper which toys bring her the most joy. If it brings her a lot of joy, we'll keep it. If she doesn't care about it, then we'll just get rid of it. She's here. Thank you for joining us, Piper. So, are you ready to take on this task of cleaning up all of your toys? We're gonna get rid of things, Piper. Are you okay with that? We're gonna get rid of all this stuff. We will start now. I will grab all of Piper's toys. Be warned, it is a lot. This is all of my dog's things, excluding some of her beds and blankets and things. So those will keep because she really likes those. I already know that. Plus I'm not gonna throw out like a hundred dollar bed. Piper, you have to keep the things here. Piper. So the deal is I'm going to show you a toy or a clothes. And I need to see your excitement. If you don't want it anymore, just don't get excited about it. And then we'll get rid of it. We'll say thank you to it because it's then good for us. How do you feel about these? You wanna put it on? It's your like little raincoat, Pepper. You don't seem excited. So we will say thank you, and then it will go into the basket. Are you upset now that it's thrown in the basket? All right, Pepper, which one? Do you wanna keep this? It's your a and jersey. Do you like it? We're gonna keep this just because I think it's sentimental. Do you like it? I think that is a yes. <laughs> Pepper, which marshmallow do you like? This one or not this one? You want both? Okay. Well, this one has a tag on it still. So we haven't used it. Pepper! <laughs> she just took a toy. I'm assuming that one gives her joy, so we'll put it in the box.
All right, Pepper, I gotta put it, I gotta put it in the bin. I gotta put it in the bin. Pepper, drop it. Thank you, thank you, it goes in the bin. <laughs> she really likes this nail, so we're gonna keep this nail. Pepper, we're not gonna get rid of this. Pepper, if you kill it, then I'm gonna have to get rid of it. Do you wanna kill it already? Squeak once for yes, squeak two times for no. Ah, so yes. All right, we're gonna have to speed this up some because this is gonna take forever and Pepper's just going crazy. We'll keep the cupcake. <laughs> Pepper, I think you have the wrong idea about this exercise. Which Christmas sweater do you want? This is not. He's just gonna go over there for a little bit. He's in the keep pile. This experiment isn't going very well. She just wants to play with all the toys. But at least now I know which one she really enjoys. Hey, you can't put the toy out of there. We put it in there. And she just really likes that flag toy. You will get this back at the end of the video. <laughs> what, are you, what are you sniffing? Do you feel love towards any of these things? as a memory because we love you so much, Pepper. So we're gonna keep this. These are the buckets. And I think we're getting rid of about like half of her stuff, which is pretty good. She's keeping most of the bigger toys, which I guess kind of tells us that she really likes the bigger toys, but I think we've always known that. Piper, since you've been so good, I thought I could just keep this toy and then she would just be thrilled. Overall, I highly recommend this. If you are a person that loves your dog, way too many, she gets way too many toys. Piper, I'm trying to close here. I need this to not make noises for a second, okay? 
or if you're gonna do it, go in the other room. Deal? Overall, great idea. Piper was a little, um, I don't know, not helpful at times, but that's okay because that's what I'm here for. I can tell her which one she really likes and which one she doesn't. And now we have 50% less of her crap because it has gone everywhere. I don't know if you know how to train your dog to put their stuff away, but please let me know down in the comments because I have no idea and I would really like to learn because I am continuously, constantly, always cleaning up her toys and just putting them back where they belong. Anyways, if you haven't tried the KonMari or Marie Kondo technique of tidying up, I think it's really cool to try out. I'm probably gonna start doing it with my clothes, my personal clothes, because I have way too many of those and I probably need to not have that many clothes. But it's okay, we're gonna try it, we're gonna see. If you've tried this, let me know. Has it worked for you? I know it's supposed to bring you like a sense of, I don't know, inner happiness because you no longer have so much clutter and you have a more streamlined lifestyle because it's just clean, it's easier, you know where everything's at, you know everything that you have. But I don't know, we'll see if Piper's happier this way. I kind of think she's gonna be sad because now she's lost half of her toys, but it's okay. All right, if you like this video, make sure to click that like button. And then if you want to continue seeing more videos by me, or more videos of my dog, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and I will see you all next time. Bye.